to you about the Norman and Louise Jones Foundation. So here we have a little boy named Mikey, and he has been a part of the foundation for since 2009, and he always claims like he ne in the summertime he never wants the summer to end because he loves this foundation so much and what it does for him, and it has also started his passion for becoming a lawyer, and it gave him an ambition to work hard in school so that he can follow his dreams. This is basically about the organization. This is Norman and Louise Jones. Um, it was founded in 2009 by Sarah, which is um, their daughter. So she is um, she basically runs the entire thing. So basically, what this organization is is it basically helps kids in the community um, helps kids in the community come together and they help them find passions in school um, through math and reading and science, and they do fun activities all during the summer that, you know, kind of invokes them to want to have a passion like because they're mostly underprivileged children and if they don't have some kind of, you know, reassurement or some kind of passion put in front of them, they're not going to want to do anything with their life and they're going to go down the wrong path. So, so basically there are 74,100 people or 25.8% of people in Lucas County that are living in poverty. So this can have a really bad negative effect on children, you know, they don't get the things they need, like their parents can't even afford to get them paper or pencil or anything that can help them become creative in their life. So, you know, they need that building block of activity to find their passion. They're also going to go down the wrong path with drugs and alcohol and like, starting a gang and, you know, you got to put kids on the right track to help our future as a community. So. The Career Pathway Center is located downtown in Holland, Ohio, and this facility is equipped with eight rooms. Um, they have it has like different classrooms, and you know they they want to give the like the they want to give kids a feel like what it would look like in a medical, legal, culinary, computer. So they have all these different rooms to show these kids, you know, like here, like this is what it'd be feel like if you were in a courtroom, or here, this is what it would feel like if you were in uh, a kitchen or something fun like that. So here's just a few pictures. So here's the facility, um, just like a big picture of it. Um, here's like some computers that they can learn from IT, and then they have, um, you know, just like desks. Like they teach kids how to read and write in like fun ways. So here's a picture of the kitchen. Actually, the um, the girl that I was talking to, she her cousin actually came in. She's a chef from LA, so she's like they all got to come in and like learn how to cook some fun things from a professional chef from LA. So that was kind of cool. And then here's just like, they have like a little like fashion room where they can teach, like they're trying to get kids involved, like, oh, hey, like, try, draw your own clothes or design your own label that you want to be when you're older. So they have the summer camp, which is their main event, and it helps all the local kids in um, the community come together, you know, learning all their fun stuff. So um, at the top picture, like, they had like a day where they learned, like, or they didn't learn, but they had like, you know, they come in and play like Wii and Xbox because a lot of those kids don't really have that. And they have like fun people come in and they teach like all the kids like, you know, uh, just like they have like local organizations come in and the people volunteer to teach them and all this kind of fun stuff. So, like I said, they have like mathematics, science, reading, and it kind of helps kids get ahead in school. So, in the schools that they go to and the community are kind of below average. So it kind of gives them an advantage to like, get up, you know, get their grades up so that way they can go to college one day, you know, have a future. So coming together with community, the Toledo Zoo actually um, does a lot with this organization. They bring in different animals for the kids to see, you know, a lot of them don't really have the opportunity to go to the Toledo Zoo, so they get to have that there. The Imagination Station comes in, they do projects with them, you know, stuff they talk, they teach them about the community, they teach them about you know, finding passions. And then a new thing that they're doing is like Girl Scouts, you know, selling Girl Scout cookies, you know, giving girls like, hey, come together, earn your badges, some fun stuff like that. Um, so this is a local organization, which I feel like is important because you want to give back locally before you give out to like, a, a, you know, a more worldwide, like this is in our community, like these are kids in our like art where we live and like they need help. So I feel like it's really important to give back to your um, community. So volunteers are always needed because every year more and more kids are coming to this foundation. Like they want to be, they need help. They want to be, um, you know, they want to get some endurance. Like 
Um, you know, kids always need that reassurement to go out and learn new things and find a passion so that way they can be successful in life. Um, a cool thing that they're doing now is they're looking um, for new ways to reach out to adults. So, you know, a lot of a lot of adults in our community are depressed due to the economy. So, you know, they can have people come in like help them find jobs in the community. Like, hey, this place is hiring. Like, let me come help you. Um, and they also have like therapists from the talk to like, hey, you gotta you gotta pull yourself together because your kids need you and just good stuff like that to just help their kids in life. So these are some fun events they did. Um, in the summertime, they, all local organizations um, in like the community, like anybody wants to volunteer, they have a back to school drive and they set up tables. So they'll ask one business like, hey, do you want to bring a bunch of crayons? And they'll ask another organization like, hey, do you want to bring like paper and notebooks? And the kids will go around to each table and they'll give them their school supplies for school so that way they have stuff and they're not left behind and you know they don't have anything. Um, they have a lot of car washes. To like raise money for their organization because you know, hey, volunteers are always needed and money's always needed to help these kids find passion. And then they have bake sales all over, like, they'll have like a bake sale in front of like Kroger or something fun like that, you know, just to get a, a few extra dollars. That that because any little, any little amount of money helps them in some kind of way. So, why should you help? So, like I said, you're helping kids in your community, like, you need to help your area, you know help these kids find something that they want to do. They also give a lot of scholarship opportunities to kids. So, you know, a lot of people can't afford college, so this is a way for them to give them scholarships. And they're also giving assistance, assistance to adults who are, in, who are depressed. Um, and they're also giving them job opportunities. So, this is how you can get involved. So if you want to get, up, if you want to get involved, you can sign up or donate or become a sponsor. For, this, for them on their website, which is at um, nljfoundation.org. Um, you can also visit them at their location, which is um, downtown Holland, Ohio, Trust Drive. You, know, you can help kids like Mikey find a passion so that way they are successful in their